Hi, my name is JW and this is Path to OSCP Day 1 or Part 5 and Take 2 I already recorded this but unfortunately for some reason I have a non-existent microphone in my sound setup and it decided that it wanted to basically record from DevNull so I was there blabbing but no, no voice control so this is going to be even more succinct and short because I don't have the mental capacity to go through everything uh, in the same manner as I just did to, well, you're not going to see it. Day one done. Uh, it started well. I received all of the automatic, automated emails from Offensive Security. I was able to download everything. Everything works p perfectly connection to my uh, lab machine, everything very nice. Um, I've spent something like four and a half hours today working on these labs, starting with the exercises and the uh, course materials. Uh, I've been using VLC uh, to directly view the materials instead of using this um, web interface that they had, which basically was a glorified video player with just a table of contents on the side uh, because in VLC I'm able to set the playback speed to be 1.33 um, or rather any any number but I just chose 1.33 based on previous exam uh, pre previous uh, experience with Coursera courses that 33% overdrive is still slow enough for me to uh, keep in touch with the data that's being sent to my brain but it's faster than standard speed uh, which is usually quite slow uh, some materials i'm able to uh, use 1.5 but that's not the case with uh, heavily new materials that i don't really need to think about uh, given that speed up I was viewing those videos for four hours. If I had been just viewing video, I should have gone and blazed through something like five hours worth of videos. I got through approximately two hours worth. So in reality, even with the speed up, I'm, I'm spending half of my time with the videos paused, basically. So that'll tell you something about the uh, extent of how much I need to be doing actual manual hands-on stuff doing, during the exercises versus just reading through the materials. Uh, also worth noting is that from now on, since I am now officially in the course, I have access to their uh, paid for materials, I have access to the labs and so forth, I cannot be too flippant or I can't share too much information because there's the real threat that if I divulge some information that offensive security deems to be uh, privileged information, uh, things that shouldn't be online, uh, they might say that I'm aiding someone in cheating if I'm giving too much information and basically that would give them grounds to revoke all of my certifications if I happen to get them uh, and prohibit me from ever buying any services from them ever again meaning I couldn't uh, certify and so forth so I need to be really careful about what I will divulge uh, in these videos um, I think I I can get away with just describing the length of the material like uh, the total video uh, material at this point uh, for my uh, lab set was uh, between seven and eight hours worth of videos uh, of which I was able to get through two hours worth um, so given this current speed I should at least need 10 plus hours to get through the rest of the five hours uh, but given that 
the exercises I started with were basically do a bash for loop and the next modules will be going into more in depth with uh, Metasploit and other Kali Linux tools uh, including like buffer overflows and stuff like that I guess I haven't checked the table of contents fully yet uh, so I'm guessing that those will be more um, demanding time-wise and effort-wise uh, than the bash for loop so uh, it seems like I will be spending quite a few hours quite a few nights uh, just doing the exercises but they do quote, and I've seen everyone quote this, Abraham Lincoln quote, that if you want me to cut down a tree, I will use the majority of the time sharpening my axe. So I'm hoping this is worth it, and I will then blaze through the labs like a superhero or something. Uh, on a non-related note, uh, during exercises, I found Sufferance, which is one of the three... Um, so-called epic bosses i guess would be a relevant term to use here uh, there's three machines pain sufferance and i don't even remember what the third one was uh, which are basically i think it was ghost uh, which are renowned for being really really no sorry it was humble yeah pain sufferance and humble and those are the three machines that uh are known to be really really painful to get through uh, so I found sufferance I know it's IP I'm going nowhere near it anytime soon uh, in the reading materials I'm on page 120 of 400 something and uh, but I have a really good feeling about this course even based on the first few hours I'm definitely uh, feeling like the reviews online about how good the material is uh, are holding up at least based on this uh, initial uh, glance at the stuff and also I have been able to already uh, with the aid of these exercises I've been able to find real-world actionable intelligence outside of the lab scope I can't go into details uh, but I've found some uh, information that I shared uh, with a client and they will hopefully um, uh, make actions based on I mean it's not critical it's not groundbreaking stuff but uh, it's it's relevant and it's um, something that needs to take uh, that needs to be taken a look at and I also found some information for my friends company uh, they're a small uh, small company in the private sector and I found some uh, troubling info about uh, some public information regarding their company. Uh, I can't go into details. I don't want to risk going into a uh, gray area or in any way a hazy zone regarding spoiling materials and so forth. But I'm really looking forward to moving on with this course and just getting more information uh, even with these exercises uh, I've been able to get a lot of information already I'm a little bit overwhelmed by how much information and I feel that that's one of the key things that this course will teach you or me uh, is how to plow through masses and masses of nmap scans and so forth that will tell you that hey this is possible and this is open and so forth and to actually target the relevant things for that system there's so many different tools in the toolbox here i'm i'm really glad i have this opportunity and uh, i guess that's it for day one talk to you later thanks bye